Welcome to my lecture online. In order to make it easier to solve circuits that have mutual inductance, we have to come up with a model that represents the mutual inductance in a way that makes it easier to set up the equations, the Kirchhoff's voltage loops and the Kirchhoff's current equations. And so the way we do that is to represent what happens in a circuit like that, that contains mutual inductance. We do it like this, where we represent what we call the induced voltage due to the mutual inductance. In other words, there is a voltage induced in circuit 1 because of mutual inductance and what happens in the coil in circuit 2. And we have, um, we have voltage induced in circuit 2 because, what hap because of the mutual inductance and what happens in the coil or between the coils, of course, and what happens uh, with the current in circuit number 1. So what happens is we set up an induced voltage and the induced voltage can be, set, can be represented by the mutual inductance times the current in the other circuit. Here again, the mutual inductance times the current in the other circuit. The only thing left to do now is to figure out the direction of the voltage and the direction of the current. Now notice that we have in circuit 2, we have the current going from here to here through the inductor, which sets up an, a current in the other in the other inductor in the opposite direction and there are a voltage in the opposite direction. So the induced voltage is directed downward. That means we have a plus here and a minus there, which means that we have an induced current in this direction caused by the current going upward in this circuit. And notice the connection of the, of the inductors. Notice that they have the same polarity on the same side of the inductor. So the induced, and my pen is kind of dying on me, but the induced current will therefore be in this direction. The reason we have the current going in this direction in this circuit, you can see that. So therefore we have a current induced in the opposite direction in the other circuit if the coupling is such that we have the same polarity on both sides of the inductor. On the other side, Notice that we have the current going downward in circuit 1, which means we get induced current, induced voltage in the opposite direction in circuit 2, which means we have the plus here and the minus there, and we have an induced current in this direction in that circuit. Induced current like that. So first what we do is we realize we're going to have an induced voltage. The value or the magnitude of the voltage is omega times the coupling times the current in the other circuit, omega times the coupling times the current in the other circuit, and then the direction is simply opposite to the direction of current in the other circuit if the coupling is mutual like this on the same side. Of course, if the coupling is on the other side, then the induced voltage and induced current will be in the opposite direction. So it will be in this direction, like this, when the coupling is the same of the two inductors. If one of the coupling is in the opposite direction, then this simply will reverse the direction of the induced voltage and reverse the direction of the induced current. And that is how it turns something that's hard to deal with into something that makes it very easy to come up with the voltage equations. And we'll show you that in some examples coming up.